tell you a little bit about this because this was his brainchild, Virtually There. We got to see Jan Scott Fraser on Virtually There. Yeah. Awesome. And by the way, Colorado. Oh. <laughs> it's that way. Yell real loud. Down and over a bit. Okay. Virtually there. This thing is a lot of nonsense and I love it. Occasionally explodes and I go, I hit you with a hammer and I hate you so much. <laughs> Stuff and non -desico. Um. What? Down in Colorado. It's an anime convention. It happens. It does happen. Also, Starfest, which is like one of the oldest sci fi cons in this region, it's like 70 years old or something. It's kind of cool. However, back to virtually that. For a long time, a lot of us have wanted to get some of the bigger name guests here, but their appearance fees would break us in half and will us down a hill and kick us and set us on fire. Aww. And it's not because they're unreasonable, they're very busy people. And they don't make a living just like everybody else. They have to make a very expensive living. However, we'd still like to get some of them, especially some of the people who are in odd, out of the way places that, you know, cost us several grand to fly them over here, let alone any appearance fees or anything else. So, like, okay, what can we do? Well, we have video chat, right? Okay, video chat's not very impressive, you know, it's a little picture on a tiny screen, and you're like, oh, that's quaint. Yes, yeah, so I'm like, oh, okay, well, okay, what if we do this? What if we take a video projector? Take a nine foot screen, take an amplified sound system, take professional microphones and dock them to the front of the room, then we bring people in, use a super high res webcam, put it up on a stand, feed it all through a computer and a mixing board. What happens? Apparently, virtually, there happens. Yes. And we can have video chats with guests of honor from all over the world, all sorts of people who we normally would never get at Fandemonium. And it's like, oh, hey, look, come in. They're talking today. And you're like, how did you get there? No, they're not really here, they're virtually here. It's all right. Come in, you'll enjoy it. So far we've done three of these. Last year was the very first test. It's interesting. Problematic, but interesting. We learned a lot from it this year. It went a lot better. I think mostly Alex Wright for that, our AV tech. Because I had this marvelous idea last year and I was very just agitated because it was like last second, I was stressed out, I didn't know if it was going to work, I hadn't been able to test it full scale yet, which I know is just what you guys want to hear. It's like, yes, I paid my good money, let's go, we're just going to be great in your team, Elliot Fandemonium. Yeah, I winded. It's only winded. <laughs> Pretty much every time. <laughs> I seem to be somewhat good at it, so I usually pull it off, and every once in a while there's this. Oh God, why did I do that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It works really well. Um, so we thought, oh, we'll try it again this year. Let's see what happens. We'll go slightly bigger than guest for the first time. It was just a family, all of us, calling in from a military base over in Virginia. We're like, okay, cool. Should that panel work? Okay, all right. A few little problems. We fixed them this year. So we jazzed up Fraser, who's been a guest of Fandemonium. Three times, I believe? Something like that. If not three, she will be a guest of the fourth time because we love Jan. She's been here longer than I have. But, all the, yes, first year, in fact. Jan did a panel this morning, um, yesterday morning at 11 a.m. Today, the lovely woman, Dee, who did the panel last year, did a panel. It worked out really well. We learned a few more tricks and we're going on. Okay, next year we can make it fabulous. Nothing isn't pretty darn good right now. But we want to make sure we give you guys as much entertainment as possible. When you pay to get in here, we don't want you to just go feel like, oh, look, I'm walking around and spending money and you know, see the same stuff every year. No, we change it every year. We add new stuff every year. We try to keep it exciting every year. And we take as much community generated content. And what that is, is stuff that you guys submit and go, you know what? This is an Fandemonium. I know about it. I'd like to run a panel or an event or a workshop or a contest on it. What about that? Well, you just head up our website, you go to event submission, and you submit your idea, and you go, hey, I want to run this. I need this much time. This style of room. Can I do it? And we go, yeah, yeah, you can. Because this is your convention. That's why we've made this. 